record. Well, it's already happened to major retailers like, like Target, Home Depot, the post office. Scams to steal your money. We want to make sure that you are protected while shopping and traveling this holiday season. Joining me now is James Jardine from Secure Ideas. Good morning to you, James. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Do appreciate it. And you know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. A lot of people, I know I've started shopping, trying to shop for, for Christmas, and I do a lot of online shopping. Let's start with what you would typically see, because I know we get those prompts in the emails, uh, particularly it deals that seem too good to be true. And our gut usually tells us they are, but we still fall for them. Yeah, you know, all too often we think that it's going to be something great. It's the holidays. We're all trying to cut corners. We're trying to be safe, right? But we forget about the things that are going to hurt us because of such a great deal. So we really need to be looking for things that, I mean, if it seems like you're going to get a, you know, a 60-inch plasma TV for $10, probably not the best deal, right? And criminals know this. They know that you're looking for something great that you'll be willing to give up your information for. And, and that's really it, is they're looking for the information not so much as they're selling some stolen item, but they just want you to type in your credit card information and, and the like, and then, they, of course, nothing shows up in the mail. Right, yeah, they don't really care about giving you any type of device, right? It's really for getting your credit card information, getting your personal information so they can build a profile. Um, on you that they can then sell on the black so market. So then what do you suggest? Don't click on that offer or go to the retailer's main website? I always suggest go to the retailer's main site. Make sure you're going to a legit site, uh, a reputable site. Don't click on links in email. Uh, don't click on links that come to you in SMS, anything like that. Always type out, you know, if it says going here, type that directly. Also in the emails, look at them. Hover over the links and see what it says underneath it. Because oftentimes it'll say newsforjacks.com, but underneath the link, it actually then says, you know, xyz.com slash something or other, right? It doesn't match up. Okay, and that's, that's a true a indicator that that's not a link you want to click. That's a very good point. Okay, next one, travel scams. Yeah, well, everybody everybody's... Everybody wants to save money when they're going to go see the loved ones for Christmas, right? Yeah, everybody's trying to travel for the holidays. Um, I know what it's like. My family lives in New Hampshire. So, you know, we at times think about travel during the holidays and everybody wants, again, the best deal. Right, and the fraudsters take advantage of that. They know you're looking for a great deal. So if I can go see my loved ones on a budget and still get that TV I want for Christmas, then I'm going to try to do that. The unfortunate side is you fill it all out, you give them their information, and then you don't have any tickets. All right, so go to reputable spots also, maybe directly to the airlines as an example. Yeah, airlines, reputable travel agents, right? Review the sites you're going to um, online. Um, a lot of reviews, even though we can taint reviews by putting our own reviews in, Look through enough of them, you'll start to get an idea if it's a reputable site or not. Unsolicited emails. Yeah, we got to be all, careful. You know what? Whenever I get something, I am always so cautious. I send stuff to our IT people all the time. It's like, is it okay for me to open this? <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I actually feel bad. My sister a couple of years ago sent me a greeting card through email, and I didn't open it. And she was like, why didn't you open it? I said, I don't click email. Right? right you, we have you to be careful. If you're not expecting sure. an email, especially if it has an attachment, don't click the attachment. If it doesn't, but if it's got links, Make sure that it's valid. Again, in the email, hover over it. Make sure that that link is a valid link. Um, you know, check with the person that sent it. Is that the person that actually sent it to me? Did it go to spam first? Don't pull it out of spam. Uh, good and point. then oh. click the links. Or... I've done that once or twice. That's excellent advice. All right, um, and protect your mobile device. You know, we tell people all the time about the having a code, but. You know, I think they assume I have my cell phone with me all the time. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, unfortunately, during the holidays, right? I mean, it's it's a big target for somebody to try to grab that. And how many people are out walking around? They got their phone out texting. It's nothing to walk up beside you, snatch that phone, and run. Chance you're going to get me a pretty slim, right? You set it on the table when you're eating dinner. You always have it out, right? It's in a back pocket where it's easy to get, but it holds our life, right? We do email, we do everything. Our second factor authentication on a lot of things we do through Google Authenticator, mm -hmm. right, which is all on our device. So we want to have a passcode in the event that somebody actually gets our device that they can't use it, right? If your phone has remote wipe capabilities, that type of stuff, um, and they're getting better at this. You know, yeah, iOS is doing so better. It's so easy, and it just takes you a second also to create yeah. it and also to type it in. Even and this thank simple you so password. Much. Exactly. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Do appreciate it. Mel?